You think you've got problems in life? You could be Philippe Saint-André, the French coach. Do you know what their record was last year? 11 games, only won two of them in 2013 for a French national team. That's really appalling. Uh, they've got all sorts of problems. Strange problems, actually, in a way. The wealthier, the better, the richer the top 14 uh, domestic league becomes, perversely, the worse the national team seems to perform. Maybe we've seen that in football in other countries, but in France, they're not quite used to that. It's very odd. Certain positions in the French league, there aren't any French players playing. Tight head on the wing, actually. So they've got issues. They've got problems. They've got one or two injuries. Thierry Doucetois, their captain, isn't playing either. And they finished Wooden Spooners last season. The only way is up. On the plus side, France are always going to have a powerful pack, particularly at home. You're never going to have an easy ride. They've got some good players in there. Louis Picamol gave Saracens a really tough time playing for Toulouse the other day. Front row, they'll be big. It's just the hinge, half back, they've got a problem. Can they all stitch it all together? I'm not so sure. Among the biggest problems France have got, actually, is they haven't got a front line goal kicker. All their kickers for clubs aren't first choice. They've got injuries. They, they really haven't got anybody in their squad who you would look at and think, well, he's definitely a 100% kicker. Now, normally that's the kiss of death. He'll go out and kick everything from all angles. But uh, I'd have thought if you're looking at uh, the France-England game first up and you're thinking, how are going to France win that game? Well, either their kick is going to have to have a stormer or, well, they've got to score tries. France's player to watch, well, I reckon he's the player to watch in the entire championship. Wesley Vafana, the centre, superb player, a huge talent, getting better and better. To be honest, I think if anybody can stop him consistently, they'll be doing pretty well. There's every reason to assume that France won't be as bad as last season when, lest we forget, they lost to Italy. The only team they beat was Scotland. So if we take it from there, if we take it that expectations aren't that huge, uh, mid-table I think is realistic. But anything more than that, they'll have to transform themselves.